We're at a stage now where we have a nice, lovely army. We have a fantastic genetics lab that's really coming along nicely with our wonderful, healthy, very humane Gene Ripper. We have resources as well, more, oh, more or less infinite, but still not enough. Welcome to the Genetic Journey episode 20. Three. And we've got some decisions to make. The, we're at a stage of the series where we're, we just need to make some actual progress and then we can start wrapping things up. And the big thing setting us back is resources. Resources have been coming in very slowly. We've got everybody on deep drilling. We've got prisoners that are be on the go as well. We've got Polap and Yilo. Polap and Yilo that we'll be recruiting to be also mining as well. And we've got a decision as to whether or not we want to continue going down the organic natural route of using the deep drills, which, you know, I'd say are very balanced. They work. They're not too fast. They're not too slow. They're not too overpowered. They're just about right. Or do we install mods and things and make things go even quicker? At the moment, we're going to be sticking with just plain old deep drills, plain old nice and fun deep drills. And what we'll be doing is going down the genetic route and bionic route to increase our people's abilities. So what does that mean? We need to do some more trading. We need to go out into the world. We need to do quests. We need to go adventuring. And those are the plans for today's episode. So if you enjoy any of today's episode, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the brand new bionics and things that we're going to do today, consider liking, subscribing, and make sure you tell them about it. Well, let's get into things and let's start by dealing with these infested ship chunks. Now, the problem is they're inside in our genetics lab. So we are pretty much only relying on melee here, which shouldn't be too bad. Right, there we go. That's everybody assembled. Diora. Anti-material rifle. Just shoot that one. All right, you missed. Congratulations. You've just shot Limpet. Congratulations, Diora. There we go. Right, that's quite a lot. <laughs> Shouldn't be too bad. Dioro, just do your thing. Get involved. There you go. Easy peasy. All been dealt with. Good job, guys. And now, obviously, we have our Gene Ripper. We can move on and get rid of some of the prisoners we've got. We've been collecting these prisoners up, and we've just been keeping them around. So the only prisoners that we are, are actually going to be recruiting is Polap and Yilo. Natsuki, Flo, and Artichoke are all deemed for Ripper, right? So we're going to start with Artichoke. Artichoke is the most forbidden here. You know, it's a it's a rat bee, which is just for, just unbelievably forbidden i'm not sure why it exists which is why she's being sentenced to ripping okay no we cannot okay no instead we're actually gonna we're actually gonna take flows g flow's been here been the longest time she's a per slave uh she's got strong mining strong plants we're gonna take strong mining from flow it gives a plus four for everybody that has it which is very nice. So I'm sending Tiffy and Mari to go to an abandoned genetics lab. And the more, better, more genetics we get, the better. There we go. We have arrived at the genetics lab. Ooh, it's different. It's different. Ancient sign, home genics. Interesting. Well, thankfully, Mari Lee and Tiffy are here together. The invincible giant and the child warrior that we all believe in. It's just the, it's just the dream team, basically. Oh, my God. The legendary woman chicken. Ah, uh, it doesn't quite look like a woman chicken, but you know what game? I'll take it. I'll take it. Pff, Christ, legendary. How does a legend? How does a woman chicken become legendary? Ooh, look at all the insect. Oh, this is a genome things. Wow. Okay, so this is for making the genetic animals. Very interesting. Okay, so we've gone to the wrong lab, but hey ho, this is stuff that we can still keep. Oh my God, what's happened? Tiffy's gone down <coughs> and lost a leg to a man cat. A Barafalo. Where have all these other animals come from? Mari Lee, why are you running? Just turn around and fight. Okay, that was close. We nearly lost Tiffy. That would not be ideal. M has successfully tamed a cave bear. Is this part four, five of the cave bear breeding program? Conversion. Fire has converted Yilo. Very nice. And if I remember right, Yilo has been hit with a word of trust from Adam. So Yilo will be ours very soon. The dream extraction has been complete for Flo as well. And look at that. Tasty human meat, tasty nutrient paste meals with human meat in it. And of course, gene pack for strong mining. What an absolute W. Next, we will be putting in Natsuki, the Goran kind. Totally useless, totally useless, dependent on being connected to Goranland. Otherwise, they'll die. So, what are we going to be taking from them? We are going to be taking ourselves. Let's take Awful Social just for the metabolic efficiency it means we can get more good things and apply them oh no oh just as the airships let us ray back new lovers amelia and lionfish lionfish is an ant why are you two in love 
This is not- this is not the power couple I was expecting. This is strange. Please don't have children. Please. Lionfish is a girl? Oh my god. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> you learn something new every day. And there we are, our intrepid adventures have returned. Look at all the stuff they bring. All that good stuff. Morally has come back with infections though, and obviously Tiffy did have her leg blown off. Not ideal. So we kind of need to get some bionic legs on the go, but we don't have any because we haven't got any resources. Yay! And there we are, a new recruit, Yilo. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Robo will now have a best friend. Oh my god, we have a male and a female Dandonian. Can we have Dandonian babies? And y Yilo will obviously be put to work on the mines. That's all Yilo's job is, is mining. <laughs> and there we are. Natsuki has been absorbed. Awful social has been gained. Nice. Last but not least, we have Artichoke. Artichoke, unfortunately, her genes are still regressed. We've got 2.6 days, and then we'll be taking away this forbidden, forbidden pawn. There, I've started on the next helix down here. Uh, this one is going to be a hydroponic helix. Uh, just then we can get rid of all of the fields and all the farms and everything, and we can put it all in one central area, make it a little bit more efficient. And it also will then connect into our, our next building project, hopefully. Robo has also been operated on again now. He's been given the other set of graspers on his other arm, and he's now been given a mutated carapace, a chitinous shell. Very nice. Quest available from Pebbles Many Friends, a nine-year-old child named Pebbles. He's calling for a nearby him. He's, he profaned a peace ritual between Fiona's Anteaters and the, the Cavesi Flame Home. Now they're both chasing him. Oh. Um. They will, if we accept, they'll raid us in 17 hours, okay? Kinda could be rough, could be rough, but we have mortars, we have a kill box, no worries. Pebbles. Pebbles are buzz kind, and they're bees. The other thing I'm looking at is all these people that will come in to, as try raiders will have genetics, and we want genetics. Pebbles, welcome! Pebbles, my friend. Pebbles, what do you look like? Uh, Pebbles is ugly. <laughs> A uh, thick-skinned, coward, pyromaniac, delicate, uh, Six plants, six in social, decent enough genetics. Could be worse. Is he of the right RG religion? No, he's not. So I'll probably just arrest him, Pebbles. Um, no, I, I, you're nothing better than arresting a child. You know how it is, guys, you know how it is. And there we are, we have our second gene ripper online. Twice the genes, twice the ripping. Artichoke, are you ready? No, you are not. Raid from the Skyons. They weren't meant to be raiding us. This is just a completely random raid, and they're going to be using sappers. Interesting. Not ideal. We should be fine. I can't imagine us suffering too badly in this raid. But they have decided that rather than actually being sappers like the game intended to, they're just going to go through our kill box. I'm not sure if I recommend them to do that, but you know what? We'll take it. Oh, they have bonnet, they have grenades, they've got bombs. This is, this could be rough, this could be rough. If we just come back a little bit, please. Uh, Diora, animals attack. I like the way the Mandonus are all different colours. On a completely separate note, I like the way there's an orange one, and there's a blue one, and there's a red one, and a pink one. I like that, they're cute. And the Mandonus from the Skyons are fleeing. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And another raid. Thyana's anteaters are chasing pebbles. Uh, 24 of them, they are apparently going to breach our walls again. Oh. Oh! Oh, what are you? <laughs> okay, well, very quickly, let's see if we've got any survivors here that we want to keep. Uh, no, we don't have any survivors that we want to keep down here. No worries. Another raid, all at the same time as well. 41. 41! This isn't good. Oh, there's some down here as well. Okay. We have the steel contracts down here destroying some mutinites. I mean, I guess that's kind of handy. Oh, do you know what we could do? Is we could probably hop on the mortars. Yeah, why don't we get Robol and Yilo on the mortars? Because they can't actually do anything. Same with Safetlana, who doesn't have... The imps are already fleeing as well. Oh, game. Rimworld's done a silly. They've sent these two people to raid us, but they're actually enemies. E classic. So the raids are... The imps are already fleeing. So yeah, we'll hop on the mortars, and we probably can deal with the raid themselves that way, honestly. Imps are apparently beginning their assault. I don't think I believe that. Explosions are going off left, right, and center. It's a proper war zone out here. Um, imps are beginning their assault. Imps are fleeing. I don't think the game even knows what it's doing at the moment. Um, I know the explosions that are coming in are pretty much from our mortars and our mortars alone. Yeah. 
this is this is a game over for them. Oh no, no, these ones are still here. Oh my god, they're still here. Are you attacking us? There's 15 of them left. Okay, I didn't expect that. Okay, they are actually trying to go through our walls here, which is very, very inconvenient. So we kind of just hold up on the side here and then get everyone else to just, I don't know, just kind of hide, I guess. Oh, Frankie, what are you doing outside? Frankie! Oh. Oh, no. We need to get outside. We just need to get out there. Destroy that wall. Frankie's gone berserk. Oh, no. Destroy that wall. There. There we go. And then just go for whoever. Just get the steel constructs to do the jobs. All been dealt with. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, there seems to be some survivors up here. We've got a few up here. I think I'm just going to capture all of them straight up. If they survive, they survive. If they don't, they don't. And then we'll go through whether or not we want to keep any of them or take their genes then. Frankie is going absolutely ballistic over here. I've seen him take it. He's... Frankie, don't go after the rhino. Don't go after the... Oh, Frankie. I can't even help him. The part elephant inside him makes him so powerful. I wouldn't even be surprised if Frankie wins against a rhinoceros. Yep, Frankie's too powerful. Well, after all those prisoners, none of them survived. I kind of think that might have been Frankie's fault. But hey, it's just how it is. Frankie's now decided to take on a rhino and a thunder beast. You just love to see it from Frankie. You just love to see it. How he has not taken enough damage to go down yet, I got no idea. Uh, once again, Frankie has beaten the wind beast and the rhino. He's just, he's too powerful. Frankie's, you are too powerful. And Artichoke's genes have finally regrown into the gene pod with you. And what we're going to take from Artichoke? Probably strong crafting. It's a pretty nice one to get. So no, it seems that Frankie is just unstoppable. The most powerful colonist I think I've now actually seen for a long time. So there's only one real test for it. Kellogg's. Deal with Frankie. It's the only real test that we've got for how powerful a colonist is by just letting Kellogg's go wild on them. And Kellogg's... He's got his marine armor back. He's looking dangerous. And there we are. Kellogg's versus Frankie. Another battle of the ultimate colony defender. Uh, it's not really much of a battle, is it? Kellogg's. Frankie. Frankie. Come on. There we go. The ultimate battle has begun. I'm kind of hopeful that Kellogg's definitely defeats Frankie here. But, yeah. I'm good. I mean, if Frankie was defe defeated Kellogg's, we'd have a new champion on our hands. And I just... I just wouldn't be able to believe it, honestly. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Lionfish casually mining away some silver, which is destroying the last of the mutantite. Oh no. Oh Lionfish, run! This isn't, this isn't good. This isn't good. This is really not good. Oh, Lionfish. Oh, Lionfish is, is ruined. He's going to get obliterated. He's gone down straight away. Lionfish, how long you got left? 12 hours. Okay. He might be okay. No, he's not. He's right next to the mutantite. We didn't get to destroy it. He's right next to the mutantite. He's going to, he's going to transform into something. Yeah, he's going to transform before we can get a chance to do anything. Oh, no. Okay, well... Oh, and the kill box hasn't been rebuilt. Oh, the wall's been rebuilt, though. Right. Well, Diora's back up, at least, so we have got access to some of the animals. Oh, Nikita. Stand your ground, Nikita. Nikki, stand your ground. Oh! They've all come in! There's a, one of the doors been destroyed! Oh, no! Diora, where are you? Oh, you guys are just going to search and destroy. Uh, Adam, use your speed boost. Lionfish, how are you doing? Um, you are turning into a, a, a sheep. This is bad. Lionfish, this is really bad. None of the rock, the, the steel constructs are getting back up either. And until then, I can't help you. I'm sorry. Oh, Kellogg's! <laughs> oh, God. I forgot to accept them to search and destroy. And they've just gone after the mammoth worms all by themselves. Limpet has died. Limpet, what happened? Shredded. A shredded torso. Oh no, Amelia, can you come down here and actually save lionfish, perhaps? That would be really nice if you could do that. Only Randy Random would give us one raid. Two, three raids. 
in a row that we could just about handle quite nicely, no worries, and then give us another raid that we just cannot handle. Only random ra and Randy Random could do that. Well, on a brighter side, Fire has converted Pebbles, so Pebbles is going to be released. Congratulations. Lionfish has thankfully been saved, but at what cost? Um, <coughs> not too bad, actually. Not too bad. You are now part sheep, which is a bit strange. Part elk, part everything. We'll s we'll see how bad Lionfish turns out after all this. But shout out to Adam and Kellogg's. They literally just defeated everything and barely took any damage. That's what we like to see. And Hamlet. Oh, Hamlet. It's like a it's like a sad Shakespeare story. Hamlet has died. And Amelia has become a drone. As we've had, uh, Diora is apparently a drone as well. This doesn't actually do anything, unfortunately. It doesn't change anything. So Amelia is exactly the same, just even more sad. So on this rough, rough note, I think we're going to call things here. This episode is going out a day later, unfortunately. So there is no episode, unfortunately, on the day of recording. I do apologize about that. This episode's been a bit strange. I know at the beginning I said I wanted to either go into genetics or go into getting different mods and stuff with more resources. I think we are probably going to go down the modding side just so we can get access to more resources so we can do more things. So if you have enjoyed today's episode and you're just sad to see the, the loss of our dear friend Limpet, consider liking, subscribing, and tell your mum about it and I'll see you next time. Thank you.